Ah, jeepers. It's been a while, guys. It's been, it's been a fair minute. Um, it, geez, I, I don't, what date is it? The 29th of, of the 7th. The last day I made a video was probably the 23rd. So we're talking about a week ago, which is a long time in my life. It's very busy. I've got lots of things going on, including this channel, but I love it. So with that said, I don't want water. I want my coffee. I haven't had a sip yet. I'm going to have my first sip because if I don't do that and I get into a reaction, it gets the whole way through the video and I haven't even had a sip. And coffee is what, you know, coffee is life. It really is. Coffee is good for the soul. And if you don't like it, well, that's up to you. It's awfully hot. Anyways, guys, today we're going to be going into the top 100 once again. In the last video, I did... I got down to about 81, I think, but we're going to check that. One thing I do want to say, guys, I apologize, all right? People have been calling me out for saying Jimmy Garoppolo like that instead of Garoppolo. Okay, so it's Jimmy Garoppolo. Garoppolo. Garopp Garoppolo. Got it. Number 10. <laughs> number 10 for the San Francisco 49ers. I just bought my first playing jersey, which was Jared Hayne, number 38. I don't know who 38 is now. Probably is someone, actually. Anyways, regardless of that, look, I'm going off on tangents already. Today, we're going to be continuing the top 100. I can't wait. I really enjoyed it, and I love your guys' feedback on those videos, because obviously, you guys enjoy it. Now, I did say that I wanted to start before the preseason, and that's in about a week. So I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'm going to do my absolute very best, guys. Because when I say something that I want to do, I do it. So today we're going to be going, we're going to be doing probably three because I've talked so long, but in the next video we're going to do five in a row and then five in a row, five in a row, five in a row and just try and get down to that number one. <laughs> it's going to be a challenge, but I love challenges, so let's do it. Okay guys, so if I go to my videos and search, here we are. I did 91, 90, 89, 88, 87, 86, and 85, 84, and 83. So it's about time we do the NFL Top 100 2018, 82. Let's do this. Marshawn Lattimore, cornerback for the Saints. Number 82. Sweet. If I do see a player that I want to do a bit of research on to see their size or their strength or something, I will do that. But the way I see it going, guys, is I'm just going to crack into it, watch it, take it all in, appreciate it, and move on to the next one. So let's do that, guys. Let's do this. Hope it's louder than that. Yes. No, just being a rookie and just get. Okay, Marshall and Lattimore, the New Orleans Saints, corner. Cornerback. Right. Hopefully I'll cut that Taiwan of this year. Hopefully. Narshawn Lattimore. <laughs> what was that, bro? <laughs> the outside defensive rookie of the year. No, just being a rookie and just getting like respect around the league. And that's something I wanted to come He was a rookie? Year. If I, you know, crack the Taiwan then they crack the Taiwan Hunter. Rookie out of year! Yeah. Rookie out of year! Rookie out of year! <laughs> <laughs> Number 23. Nice number. 23. I like that. I mean, he's defensive rookie of the year. I mean, he impressed everybody. Defensive rookie of the year. Smoke cleared from the 2017 season. Marshawn Lattimore was the NFL defensive rookie of the year. That was pissing me off. The interception by the rookie out of Ohio State. He's a dog. I mean, he came in and really lived up. And he's a dog. Expectations already. The kid has a. Why is that stuff still in the background? Nick Minnett. Tell me it's gone. Yes. Finally. I, I see it. And it's going to be intercepted. Coming back the other way, Lattimore. He's going to take it. In for the, the touchdown. To the house. Touchdown. The pick six. Hey, play? A year, probably. I mean, everybody loved the, the, the butt pick. Uh, we were watching the Atlanta game when he had, like, the butt interception. Mm -hmm. It's tipped up in the air. <laughs> it, it came down on the back of the, the butt pick. 
I've heard of that. I haven't seen it. Oh my god! You are kidding. When you talk about his ability to come away with those types of interceptions, I mean, he was living right. The ball never hit the ground. It landed on him. The receiver hit him, and that was... <laughs> Should have been a catch. I've never seen that before. That ball was just resting <laughs> on his butt. On his butt. It's just a... Oh, my game. gosh. It's the butt exception. I think that's my favorite player to hear. His favorite player to compete against? There are no buts about it. I like the competition against Julio. Julio. an interception. This is going to be Marshawn Lattimore. And this was against Julio Jones. The line up across some guys like Julio Jones, you have to be supremely confident. I just want to play against the best, man. It's hard to show everybody, you know, I'm, I'm right up there with him. Lattimore made a name for himself. Nothing wrong with confidence, man. From 31st in points allowed in 2016 to 10th last season. As a rookie guy, Marcus Lattimore, he's making plays all over the football field. He's <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> uh. Marshawn Lattimore, what a great season he's having. <laughs> Marshawn Lattimore does an outstanding job. Of that Bang! <laughs> outstanding job, of Marshawn Lattimore. Nice stuff. Far out, wasn't even watching and he still He still um was effective. That's awesome. That's just that's just being spatially aware in your position. Michael Thomas, wide receiver, Saints, top 100. Sweet, we've got a skill position. Let's do this. Same team, but on the opposite same team but on the opposite side of the field. On defense on offense, not defense. It's great, you know, to see somebody with, you know, your same name out there, you know, just making plays left and right. Look at what I was saying is, I'm one catch away from the NFL record. He knows he has to do When you watch him on tape, he pops out. Put the ball in his vicinity, and he catches the ball. High throw. What a catch by Michael Thomas. You see what Mike did to that kid? All right. We're just going to do a little bit of research. Uh, no. Michael Thomas Saints um, combine numbers. Here we go. I want to see his hops and his height. 35 inch vertical jump. We've got a 4.57 second 40. And he's 6 foot 3. Okay. What, what was that? NFL.com. You know what, man? If I do want to see a draft analysis, like they're saying, I'm going to go to this site. I'm not going to Wikipedia anymore. Fuck that. Michael Thomas caught more passes over his first two seasons than any receiver in NFL history. He was about 6'3". You got that record on lock now, mate. Good stuff. Going up and making the catch, Michael Thomas. A hundred receptions in one season. That's a lot. That's that's in the game, every single game. That's awesome. I didn't think that wide receivers would get that much ball. With those big, strong hands. We cannot stress enough how good he is. You hardly ever see him drop a ball. He's just so consistent. Yo, what do you say, boy? What do you Yeah, the reason he's got over 100 is probably because he hasn't dropped as many as other players drop, right? So it's awesome. You know how to do what works for him. He's not the fastest guy, but you know, he's physical and you know how to get open. Man, you always got to see him in practice. Grab the ball, turn. You keep working your releases. You got to get violent with your hands now. Yes, sir. You're going to see bump and run. You got to get violent with your hands. Runs really good routes, very quick at the line of scrimmage. That's just a nice job of using Get off great me. Hands. Get off me. Inside, to outside, inside. Hands all over Mike Thomas. Mike Good Thomas stuff. Does a great job of chopping his hands down. And again, uh, fucking hell, that defender had no idea what's going on. You no, know, he was going to get some of the best. That was one on one coverage, and Xavier Rose didn't have the speed to catch up with him. Good pass, man. Thomas quietly caught 104 passes last season. 
Arizona coach and NFL bloodlines helped him earn his first Pro Bowl appearance. Michael Thomas with those strong hands. You see it over and over again. Thomas with those strong... I'm sorry, guys, but coming up as a, as a wide receiver or as a slot receiver against a defender like this... Thomas quietly caught 104 passes last... Like you see right here, lining him up, giving him a step and getting past him to run a route. I can see myself doing that, man. I can. I know I can do it. Just exactly like this, man. Deezer. Bang. And his hands-on approach... And the and defender, and actually. I've got to say, the defender fucking read that pretty well. Let's see what he does. Thomas quietly caught 104 passes last season. And yeah, his hands -on approach that's good. And NFL bloodlines helped him earn his first Pro Bowl appearance. Michael Thomas, with those strong hands, you see it over and over again. Surprised the defender actually um, tracked that. Yep, you're right. Yeah. We got strong hands, man. That boy kept That guy in the middle is the most monstrous man I've ever seen. I'll press these guys like bumping. This rookie year. He released off of me. We were in meetings that night, man. I had like black and blue. <laughs> like I was in a car accident though. What was he doing to him? This rookie year, I go around Thursday, I'll prep. We got strong hands, that boy kept one of the things he does for you. Like I'll go around Thursday, I'll press these guys. Like bumping. This rookie year. He released off of me. We were in meetings that night, man. I had like black and blue. <laughs> like I was in a car accident though. So he's got real strong hands. Michael Thomas. No wonder you catch all those balls, man. You got strength. All right, Kevin Bayard, safety, Titans. Let's do this. Yeah, he definitely liked the tie. He definitely liked the tie. That's part of his game. Ooh. He's a fiery guy. Yeah, he likes to talk. Oh, I can't wait to trash talk on the field, man. Just a little bit, just a little bit. When and where appropriate. Oh, of course, yeah. Uh, I mean, I watched it for sure last year. I think I had tweeted something like, wait for me for next year, I'm trying to get on it. <laughs> One of the best ways to break onto the top 100 is to lead the league in interceptions. In the show's eight-year history, at least one player every year has made the list after leading or tying for the lead in picks. I mean, people can call it luck or whatever, but I mean, you see guys have eight opportunities to get picks and, and drop five of them. Yeah. You gotta be in a position, yeah. you gotta make the play. You gotta catch it. You gotta catch that ball, man. I get my hands on the ball, I'm trying to catch every single one. Nice run. I really feel like I should have had maybe 10 this year. Hopefully I can get double digits next year, that's what I'm going for. Who's he played? Tyson. Any signature play this year, what would it be? I would have to say probably my last interception of the year. Game winning interception to put us in the playoffs. Pick six. Oh no. To make that play, then the game was awesome. He's I think he's one of the more talented young safeties in the league right now. What really separates him is just his range and his ball skills. Intercepted! It's fired! Go sideline to sideline and make plays on the ball at the same time. That's intercepted! In week seven, Bayard had a pick party in Cleveland. Bayard with another interception! Three interceptions on the day from Kevin Bayard. What on earth are the Cleveland Browns doing? What are their wide receivers doing? Why have they not caught those balls? You tell me, guys. Tennessee, they had three in one game. Like, they had three in one game, dog. That's crazy. On his second of the three picks, Bayer deserves a tip of the hat for getting tricky. Guys are on a bootleg pass, and that pass is picked out of the air. Kevin Bayard. Look at this. He reads Kaiser. That was playing chess. Oh, man. He goes 
as if he's going to cover his primary coverage in the flat, but at the very last moment, drops back into the hole and then comes down with another interception. What a play right there. He covers a lot of ground. Obviously, he can make plays on the ball, but tied the league in picks. But KB, go, go, gadget it right now. Byard had two more the next game and eight on the season. Get Byard catch that again. He did! Right. He did! The NFL leader, ladies and gentlemen, is the mayor of Murfreesboro. Do it, do it, do it. Go, go. Do it, go. Let him go, let him go, let him go, let him go. Let him go. Fuck! I thought they were having a fight. Oh man. Alright guys. We're going to pause it there. The next one is going to be number 79, Marcus Peters. I'm thinking we're going to do four or five in the next video. If you want to stick around, if you want to see them, please do. If you like the video, please press like as always. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys back here very shortly. We've got no time to lose. We've got to finish this shit before the preseason starts, right? And I'm going to do it. So I'll see you back here very shortly. Peace.